Okay, so we're talking about Monday the 13th of February. We have this 20 minute AMRAP on the Compete program. Um, you're gonna go roll 45 calories, and then after that, you'll hit the two rounds of thrusters, chest bars, and the burpees, and then you'll restart with the row again. So you'll roll once, and then two rounds of the movements, and then repeat that for 20 minutes. Like it says in the notes, you're looking for a relatively fast pace, but it's not a sprint, especially because of the movements that are being used. There's only going to be a certain pace that you can push at. Um, so don't start off with a sprint mentality and then have this really big dip off in pace as you go um, through the workout. Try and think of a sustainable pace that you can then hold all the way through. So you're pushing your effort level is about the same all the way. Even if the actual movement speed goes down a little bit, the amount of effort you can put into the workout all the way through is sustainable and you don't just sort of fall off a cliff after 12 minutes of the workout because you went way too hard at the start. A lot of that will just be down to your rowing pace. So you can use that time to sort of bring the heart rate down a little bit and have get your breathing a bit back, back under control because that is definitely harder to do on the thrusters, chest bars and the burpees. Um, the Elite and RX version is the same the intermediate version is just slightly reduced in reps so that you are able to hit the similar sort of stimulus to the RX and intermediate version and not be so limited by skill when it comes to the um, the uh, thrusters and the chest bar pull-ups. One thing to note is that we're using the double hop over the rowing machine. We're just throwing that in a few times just in case that does come up. We did it in an engine piece last week so putting it into a metcon this week so just practicing that double hop over the uh over the erg so try to start your first burpee on opposite sides of the rowing machine each round so that you're not always doing the rebound in the same direction so you get practice jumping laterally um both ways on that rebound